She wants to eat stuff that she won't, can't eat. And why? It's become a hog. I asked her, I said, why did you say that? Well, you know, mama had diabetes. <laughs> Daddy had diabetes. Uncle Fred's hunting dogs had diabetes. <laughs> diabetes follows our family. Now, they don't dress that hog up so much that they accept it from generation to generation. They accept that little hog. And God is trying to heal this woman of everything. You know, it's amazing to me that the power of God is so strong on your body that you physically fall under the anointing of God and you get up sick. Don't shout me down when the preacher's good. Think about that. God's so powerful when he's, you're being prayed for, wham! I mean, you're out in the Holy Ghost, you're doing this kind of stuff, you laughing, and bless God, then you get up, grab your little hog, and say, let's go home, honey. We had a glorious service today. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go home. When you ought to butcher that boy right at the altar. Yeah. Just butcher him right there. That's what Jesus did. Jesus not only got rid of the man's problem, he got rid of their sin. He said, if you're going to get close to Jesus, you're not going to keep your habits. You're going to keep one habit, a habitual fellowship with him. 